Well, hello everyone, this is Mark Levesque coming to you again with a few more kingdom principles or kingdom keys as we call them. Uh, I'm with Forest Glory Ministries and we minister and share the gospel to people around the world, heavily in Africa at this time. And we share kingdom principles with people there and it's been helping them so much. So we've been wanting to expand the reach and share these principles with more and more people. So it's just an opportunity for us to share short videos where we cover various principles. And so we've covered um, several principles so far. Principle one, we covered what had to do with our identity in Christ, how important that is as a foundation. Principle two is that the kingdom of heaven is here. It's here and now by the Holy Spirit. Jesus brought the kingdom of God into this earth. So we actually live in two kingdoms, the kingdom of this world and the kingdom of God. Principle three is that Jesus connected heaven and earth by, by himself as kind of Jacob's ladder. So Jesus connects heaven and earth. He brought the, the authority of God into the earth. In fact, Jesus himself said, the Son of God has authority in the earth because he's also a son of man. So he reconnected authority in heaven to authority in the earth. And we inherit that. That's principle four, is we actually inherit that authority through Jesus Christ. Because when Christ lives in us, that connection to heaven and earth through Christ is within us. And so we actually connect heaven and earth right now in the earth. Now, principle five is how do I transform my life to be more and more like his kingdom? So principle five is that transformation, kingdom transformation, comes from within. And people try to... People try to... Uh, change their lives by positive thinking or personal development. You walk down the bookstore, there's all these aisles of books covering personal development. And if it really worked, those aisles would be empty because we would be transformed. The problem is we don't see transformation because God set up a certain way for us to transform and that's the way he set it up. And the human way of doing it, the earthly way of doing it, doesn't, doesn't work for very long. It's just short spurts of improvement but nothing that's really that lasts very long. In the kingdom, we're looking for kingdom transformation that is sustainable and that is lasting and that is done from the strength of God and his spirit, not human strength. You know, whenever we start a new year, my wife and I, we go out and we, we write out our goals and uh, we list them. And, you know, when you start listing your goals, you can really get into detail about the various areas of your life. You can, you can cover your finances. You can cover your career. You can cover family, you, the relationship with your spouse. You can cover your health, exercising, all these things. And there's so many. If you concentrate on one area, you have to leave other areas, let them go. And so sometimes someone will concentrate on their career and they let their family go. Or someone will concentrate on family and let the relationship with God go. All these things must be in balance. And so trying to do the, our goals and writing down our goals, well, that's important. And people that do that have an edge over people who don't. But we have to find a way to transform from the inside out. How do we see the kingdom of God reflect more and more in our life? We are made in God's image and likeness, but we have to see that image come forth from within. And so the kingdom of God is transformed from within. And so it's not by doing individual principles, like we're trying to do our goals, or work on this one principle, like I'm trying to be more patient, so I'm working on patience. I'm trying to be more loving, so I start work to work on loving. Or I'm trying to be more uh, good, I focus on that. And that actually has the, own, has the seeds of its own failure within it. We have to be transformed from within by the Holy Spirit. Now we do this, by, cre by creating what I call an identity profile. An identity profile is where we list out on a sheet all the things that we believe that God sees us as we are. In other words, we write it in the first person, we write it in present tense, we write it from God's perspective of how he has transformed us already in the spirit through Christ Jesus. And then we write out who God says we are. We write out who we want to be as if that would be right now. And so I call it an identity profile. And so we list out the things that, that in a narrative that we, we see that God wants us to see manifest. It's a difficult thing to, to word because I'm actually trying to say something that we're not seeing manifested in the natural world yet that's actually a spiritual reality within us. But if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, 
The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, that all the blessings of God are already in you in Christ Jesus. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, Christ himself lives in you. And so the fruit of the Spirit are already in us. And so what we do in an identity profile is you write out how we see ourselves. And then we read it one to three times a day. And as we read it, what starts to happen is our subconscious, our soul, begins to implement in our life who we really are in God's perspective, from God's sight. And the more we do that, we're not changing because I'm trying to be more patient. I'm trying to be more loving. You try, I've, tried, I've actually experimented with this. You try to love people, like try to love, love everyone for a whole week and see, you end up finding yourself being annoyed, being grouchy. All these things start to come to the surface because no human being has the ability to be perfect in any one attribute, any one goal, any one area of our life, let alone all of them. So the only way that we can transform our life to kingdom living is to let the soul start waking up to what the spirit has. And we do that by reminding ourselves every day of, who, of how God sees us by writing and reading our identity profile. Now a copy of how to write an identity profile will be included with this video in a, in a, in a slide so you can, you can follow that guide. And if you start practice, practicing this for a period of time, you're gonna see tremendous transformation. Now, I've been asked by people, now that I've been doing this for some time now, what am I seeing is, is, is transforming in my life? What I'm seeing, more than anything, is a revelation of the kingdom of God. Because in my profile, I share to myself that God sees me as someone who shares the principles of his kingdom. And what's been happening is God's just been opening up in a revelation of how his kingdom, the kingdom of, of God, is supposed to function in the earth. And so for me, that's the most dramatic change, and that has been in my life. A dramatic change. So I look forward to you, you trying this practice. It's really a way to transform your life from the inside out. And so again, thank you for, for this time together. Look for more kingdom keys and principles to share in the future. And so have a wonderful day. This is Mark Levesque from Forest Glory, and it was great speaking with you. Thank you.